Today we are flying to Thailand for the second time this year and in this video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about flying to Thailand with visas, all that stuff. We actually have three flights to get there but I'm so excited. We've missed the foods in Thailand so so badly. Ah, I can't Pad wait. Thai, <laughs> Penang curry, oh, and we're going to show you in this video. I'm so excited. We've just got to get these three flights so let's go. Just arrived in Oman, but we're heading straight onto our flight to Phuket, Thailand. Here we go. Woo. Let's go. So we have just arrived in Thailand. We've collected our bags and it was so quick getting through at Phuket International Airport. It's a really small airport actually and it's so much easier than when we came back in February of this year. And we're probably here at like at least an hour trying to get through, weren't we? And that was just because of COVID restrictions. Now there's nothing. Right, now let's head to our hotel. Also, there's SIM cards you can get here, but I've already got my Nomad eSIM and that was like only 15 pounds or something. And I can already get data straight away from the plane, which was awesome. Uh, Patong. So we are staying in Patong and there's three ways you can get there. You can get there via a taxi, which is 800 baht, a minibus, which is what we're doing for 180 baht each, or the public bus, which is 100 baht. We don't want to wait too long for the public bus, so we're going for the mini bus, which is only 180 baht, which is really good, much cheaper than the taxi. Much, so, much cheaper. So let's go to Patong, oh. and hopefully, because we're pretty tired. Also, they've got these automatic cleaners. Look, Look how that. cool that is. Very futuristic. It's like Japanese or Singapore, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> So we have just checked into our hotel. We are fully cleaned and feel so much better from those three flights that we took. And now we are ready to hit the food because yeah. it's waiting for us. I'm so hungry and I'm ready for the Thai food. Let's go. I didn't mention, but at the airport, I withdrew money from an ATM and that cost 220 baht to withdraw the money. And from any ATM in the whole of Thailand, it always costs 220 baht. Also, this room only costs 15 pounds a night, which is an incredible deal. I mean, it feels like a proper big hotel and the bed is massive yeah here we go i want to talk to you about something very useful which i get asked about a lot and it's about your phone it's called an e-sim i'm currently using an e-sim here in thailand with a service called nomad and honestly it works so well instead of having to buy a sim card back at the airport i downloaded my nomad e-sim before i traveled and was connected the moment i stepped off the plane and nomad the service that has made this possible have kindly partnered with me on this video. For those of you who don't know, an eSIM is a digital SIM card and it's loaded onto your phone through a mobile app. Just make sure your phone is eSIM ready. Unlike a regular physical SIM card, Nomad eSIM works instantly. And Nomad is a global mobile app with eSIM data plans in over 100 countries, giving you fast data speeds. And in case you were wondering, I still keep my UK number while the eSIM works. So things like WhatsApp and text work as normal so I can still be connected whilst I'm abroad. Also, if you top up data on Nomad, it's usually cheaper than buying a new eSIM. So if you run out of data, no worries, you can easily top up. I will leave links down in the description to download the Nomad app as it's available on iOS and Android. A little bonus, if you want to use my referral code, Joel94MB, you get $3 off your first eSIM with Nomad. Let's head off and get some food. Woo! It is so good to be back on the road in Phuket or Patong, where we first started our trip last time. It is quite warm, but not as warm as when we left Thailand in April earlier this year. It was so hot then. It feels really nice. But it still is humid. Yeah, we're gonna get, have some lunch and then we're gonna head to the beach. So there is when they pull foreigners over for being on a scooter and just try and find them. Um, but you just have to avoid them. It's just a scam here and yeah, try and avoid the main street in Phuket. So we have just come to this restaurant and of course we both ordered a Penang curry and also two coconuts which is going to be our first coconuts in a couple of months. I'm so excited. We actually came to this very restaurant when we were back in Thailand and yeah, it was good then and it's going to be good now. I can't wait. I'm so hungry. Guys, we have just got our fresh coconuts and mm, it's so fresh. You have to have them if you come. <laughs> Here we are. We've got the Penang curry and it smells amazing. Like, I just want to dive into it and just... The flavours. I can't describe it. The flavours. I can't describe it. It's just so good. Right, 
I'm gonna let Amelia dig in and we're just gonna enjoy this meal. It's the best meal I've ever had. It's even better than I remember. I am living my best life. Good. This is what we want. So we just went into 7-Eleven and got these ice drinks. I got an iced cappuccino as I always used to do. And I got an iced coca. And it only cost 80p or 35 baht. And it's just amazing how good value you can get stuff in there. Honestly, if you come into Thailand, 7-Eleven is your little gem. It's got so much stuff you can just snack on and drink. We are on the beach in Woo! Thailand. It feels amazing. The sand is so soft. I don't know why, but just Thailand has some of the best sand and beaches and Oh, it's just beautiful. Look at this place. Even though this is really built up and stuff, it doesn't mean the beaches aren't just still stunning. Compared to last time, there is so much more going on. The Mu Muay Thai fights are happening. They're all advertising them. There's so many jet skis. There's The beach is just really busy and you get lots of more hassles and stuff just because I know it's full of tourists and it's yeah much busier than when we were here back in February earlier this year. So guys, we've been sitting on the beach and this guy came up to me and wanted to give me some sunglasses. And these are actually a really good set of sunglasses. They're new, they don't scratch or anything. They've got, I think they've got proper UV. I'm not 100% sure, but he wanted 1800 baht for them. And I was like, I know I can get them so much cheaper somewhere else. So I kept bargaining and I got them for only 300 baht. That shows you how inflated the prices are around here. Obviously, he wouldn't have sold it to me if he didn't wasn't making a profit because obviously there's no point. So yeah, just something to take into account. Make sure you bargain, especially for like these sellers on the beach who never come up. Never take first price. Never ever take first price. 1800 to 300 baht. That is crazy. I couldn't believe he even took the deal because I knew I could get them cheap somewhere else. So yeah, there you go. Bargain in Thailand. Car behind you. <laughs> What's that doing here? It's the beach. I just wanted to talk to you about the visas to get into Thailand because of the 1st of October 2022 and um, there's actually a 45 day visa and this 45 day visa is free for a lot of countries and it ends on the 31st of March. So if you come into Thailand now you get 45 days for free and also you can still extend it for another 30 days which is awesome. So if you're looking to come to Thailand you should come now. So Thailand is now fully open, there are no restrictions, we got through security and everything in Phuket so fast and so Thailand is fully open guys this place is now bustling there's so much on and I just recommend coming it's awesome let's go in the sea Woo. honestly we were just in Turkey and the water here is so much warmer it's so nice isn't it oh, it's so nice it's like a little bath it is like a bath and you can swim in the evening or at night and you still don't get chilly So we just watched the most incredible sunset and we were just taking it all in and honestly we are so happy to be back like you have no idea how much we've missed it here. But now we're going to go out and have some dinner and just have a look around the town going down Bangla Road show you what Bangla Road's like right now in 2022 nearly 23 so yeah let's go. Here we are our first Pad Thai back in Thailand. I'm so excited we've got some spices here. Get the chilli on there I can't wait to dig into this chopsticks let's go guys this pad thai is amazing like so so good i've missed it so much i'm just gonna dig in so that is where they're advertising the muay thai fights which weren't on last time because of covid back in february but yeah he's making some loud noises isn't he everything's going on the atmosphere here in phuket is uh, like it's electric it's just it's so ten cool times more than last yeah, time so much more going on Roddy. <gasps> you got heaven. rowdy. This is this is heaven. I've been waiting for this for so long. You did. Every other country you went to, you were like, I want my rotty in Thailand. Max. I can't pick it up. Mm. Mm. How is the roddy? So rum. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mango sticky. Honestly, I think this is my favourite dessert in the world. I love rice and with some mango. Mangoes are so good in Thailand. This is condensed milk and you basically pour it over the rice and the mango. And but it, it tastes it's quite so good. sweet. Honestly, you've got to try it. It's the best thing ever. This is a hundred bar. Highly, highly recommend.
So I don't know if you know, but weed is now legal here in Thailand. So there's a lot of weed shops and stuff. And it was nothing like this here before, just like six months ago. Crazy. Everything's popped up. Yeah, out of nowhere. So if you don't know, we're on Bangla Road and this is like the big party uh, street here in Phuket, Patong. And if you want a night out, this is the place to come. We were, came out before and it was so good, wasn't it? I mean, it? it's only nine o'clock and it is mad here already. Yeah, big night ahead probably. Not for us though, we're jet lagged. We're so jet lagged. We are so, so pleased to be back in Thailand, but we are quite tired because we've been on like three flights in the last 24 hours. But so. I, the energy, I just, I'm quite awake. Just to come on the I am buzzing a bit. <laughs> also guys, if you haven't, then go watch our old Thailand series because we were here for two months back in February and March and a bit of April. And so please go watch them. There's uh, videos on the full moon party, like loads and loads of cool stuff. We'll leave the links for those in the description, but we are going to two really, really exciting islands which are less touristy, so stay tuned for those. And then we are going to a secret place and I'm so excited to share you this place, but then more travels in Asia. Oh, I gave a bit away, but yeah, right. Also, for updates, follow us both on Instagram. I'll put our handles there and we'll see you in the next Thailand video. Bye! Bye.